Hi, my name is Casey Browning and I'm from Retroactive Arcade. Uh, back here once again I'm going to talk about a commonly asked question that we get quite a bit is how to hook up audio to our new arcade system or DIY arcade system. Now there's a bunch of different options out there but I'm going to show you some basic stuff and hopefully that will cover your basis for um, I base, you know, the gamut I guess you could say. If you're using, if you're kind of modding or updating an old system um, that used just a single PC board, like you're restoring a Pac-Man, that type of a thing, these things are probably not for you right out of the gate. Uh, you're going to have to go with the traditional potentiometer and use the transformer power supply and kind of utilize what you have in there. And then it depends on what you take in and out of there for, uh, for any sort of changes there. So that would probably be another topic for another time. But for the newer arcades, JAMA boards, multi-arcades, Raspberry Pi, computer, um, running MAME, anything like that, uh, this stuff is going to do you good on a basic note. Other than putting in like a 5.1 surround sound Logitech uh, package that you buy and you just plug in your 3.5 millimeter uh, plug-in into your jack on your computer, um, this is the other route to go. I'm going to start off with the Raspberry Pi amp. Now this will work with both. Uh, they just call it the Pi amp just because it's super small um, and it kind of coincides with the uh, smallness or size wise of the Raspberry Pi so it can fit in smaller type of machines. So it's got a regular potentiometer on it right there. It doesn't come with the actual handle itself, just the potentiometer so you would have to upgrade or buy something. I find that somewhere else. Um, and it comes with your option of power in. So you've got a Molex connector power in there. Uh, it'll come with a red and black wire. Red usually uh, here in Canada denotes uh, 5 volt input, but it's actually a 12, put in, 12 volt input on here. And I think it takes uh, 2.5 amps uh, to be correct. Uh, on here, we provide the Pi amp with the barrel connector for your power supply. So it would just pop in to there and like I said with red denoting 5 volt in Canada it's actually 12 volt but that's just the way the cable comes so you would connect it to your 12 volt in your ground. Um, you would take your 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack and you need basically 3.5 millimeter, 3.5 millimeter, go from your computer, your Raspberry Pi, whatever on your audio out and then it would just go to the audio in on your actual amplifier. Now the amplifier will carry obviously the transmitting sounds from your left and right. So you have left, right, positive and negative. Uh, you just, they're in a screw down so you just put your uh, wires in there, go to your two speakers. Uh, if you want to go to more speakers you'll have to kind of splice your wires and kind of double them up and double wire your speakers. Um, these, uh, both of these amps that I'm going to go over are pretty much only good for uh, mono or stereo sound. Uh, Neither of these ones do left and right uh, for the ones that I'm showing you right now. Uh, this one basically just does uh, like, yeah, it's mono and stereo without the balance control uh, pretty much. So this one here is called an A6, A6 amplifier. Uh, this one is a 12 volt 2 amp um, uh, amplifier. It also comes with this barrel connector. Now you can do, uh, I find that a lot of people do one of two things with this barrel connector. So they'll use this, extend it, go straight to an arcade power supply or 12 volt uh, um, power supply off for a computer power supply depending on what they're doing. Uh, you can just splice into that because you got regulated power so it's actually nice and clean and it's good. I find though when you do that off of a computer power supply with either one of these amps, if you have a fan connected to it or your power, your, your, C, your ATX power supply has a large fan in there, you can kind of hear the hum through here. It's like a a residual effect through the thing there. So you're getting some resistance somehow or an impedance in it. You can actually hear it. Um, that's not always the best outcome. Nobody really wants that. So some people make their own filters or they find a different line to put in uh, for power. So when I say that, you would take like say an old phone charger that has the same specs of 12 volt uh, with a 2 amp or 2.5 amp uh, transformer on that thing. They would cut it off, connect it to this barrel connector or it has its own barrel connector that would fit this size uh, directly. I'll flip it around so you can see it. I keep looking at it myself and not showing you, which is never fair to anybody. So as you can see on the back here, uh, it's got RCA. Um, that's where this comes into play. This cable is an RCA cable um, that goes from 3.5 millimeter phone jack 
to the RCA. So that's the cable itself. So you can plug this into any computer, Raspberry Pi, whatever you want that has an output uh, phone jack, earphone jack, and plug it into the back of this amp that way. Or you can just go like the other amp that I just showed you, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter for an MP3 input on it. Uh, you can plug your phone directly into this and, and play it through there if you want to, uh, however you want. So it's pretty versatile that way, which is really good. Uh, but then again, you're only getting stereo slash mono, mono sound. Uh, that we do have another version of this amplifier that allows you to do the balance left and right as well, which is okay, it's not too bad, can't complain. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit old school, like your home uh, amplifier set up when you were growing up as a kid, or at least for me. I uh, might be dating myself a little bit, but basically you just press your pin down, stick your wire in, and it connects in, and you go out to your speaker, obviously positive and negative, right and left. It uh, doesn't get much more simplistic than that. The cool feature with this one is, is that it has a power on and off button on the front. So if you put this anywhere on your machine and it has access with the face of this, if you just want quick sound, like muting sound, you just turn it off instead of playing with any knobs to turn it down. Uh, this one here is treble and, uh, treble and bass, and you also have your main uh, audio. The cool thing with this one is it has a nice little LED that lights up in front of there. So if you put it anywhere somewhere somebody can see it on your arcade machine, uh, it also kind of is a little bit of a feature as well. Um, for power wise, if you don't want to go one of the other two routes, we also offer a transformer 12 volt, 2 amp, 2.5 amp. Uh, transformer that is the exact right size of a barrel connector and it's nice and clean it's uh, about four feet long and you can also just plug in any computer uh, power cable uh, American or uh, this one actually is a smart transformer that will work in uh, UK or in North America or China or whatever uh, so it'll trans translate the actual uh, like 20 amp or 110 and that type of thing to your 12 volt uh, there. So hopefully I've answered some of your questions if you have any uh, and clarified uh, these types of items. Usually if you want to find them you can find them on our website and they are somewhat linked together so that you can uh, it, it shows you what other people have bought with this purchase as well so um, yeah come please check us out on our website www.retroactivearcade.ca and uh, feel free to email us or contact us on our YouTube channel with any other questions you might have. We look on there pretty much every day. Thanks.